Bad Mike back on the mic. She in here. First of all, man, I like that fucking shirt. Yeah. 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 That's a dope. Got some messed up lighting in here, so we'll let everybody know what's going on for those who care, for those who's watching. And if you're not watching, when you do start watching, um, got this whole COVID thing going on. It's been going on. It's been a thing. And everybody's been doing this Zoom thing, meeting, like shit's crazy. So we decided to take Matt and Mike onto the COVID thing. So we're doing the Zoom thing right now. And uh, Ain't that a shame? Yeah. You're the one to blame. Yeah. Try to keep it real with you, but you're the one that changed. How you won't change? Acting different when it came. Murder was the case, and I blew out the brain. Blew out the brain. See me now, yeah. switching through different lines. Yeah. Smoking on different strains. Yeah. I got money on my brain. We are not the same. Man, it's been a minute since we dropped the video. My son got on me about that. Like, we was looking at the phone, and uh, I went to the YouTube, and he was like, yeah, it's been a long time. So, yeah, that was, that was motivation. Just, like, somebody, like, all right, keep going. Keep doing what y'all doing. So, we decided to do it like this right now. Um, I don't really want to get into the views of the COVID and everything going on like that, man. We're going to keep positive vibes going on while we're in here doing our thing. Oh, yeah. For sure. So a lot of shit has been happening between us not doing anything and now we back. So it's like, where do we A lot of music. Yeah, a lot of music has been dropping. I'm going to tell you, though, I've been real excited for um, the Pop Smoke album drop. Uh... It was crazy. So when Nipsey was actually doing his thing, I actually got to listen to him and get on him a little bit before, you know what I'm saying, everything happened in the album drop and all that. But once the album came out, it was crazy. Like, it's classic. So with the Pop Smoke thing, like, I didn't really hear much about him. I didn't really know anything about him. So when he came into the picture, or should I say me hearing about him, and then him dropping, like, I had no prior knowledge of him, basically. And then boom, right. the full album. So the album is crazy, though. Have you have you listened to the album? I haven't listened to the whole album. I listened to a few songs. And the song that you suggested I listen to, to where yeah. he, um, he he kind of flipped the, uh, uh, the, 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 the mini-man. Oh, you talking about the um, Mini Man? Fifty Six Mini Man. Yeah, he he that that actually was crazy. When you hear a song like that, it's that good for somebody to come and take it, do their thing with it, and actually you could actually like it. That's that's big. But if you listen to the whole album, man, he has the same flow on every song, but like some of the beats and some of the songs are just mesh like really well. Really, really well. I'm gonna have to listen to it. I'm gonna have to listen to it. You gotta get it's a vibe, man. I I I will say this. He was very dope and he was got a lot that he was finna do. And I think he was finna make a big, big splash, a big wave. And he did accomplish that. Um I wish we could definitely do more as far as uh you know just going into his album and just him doing his thing. He didn't even have, I think he only had like four videos, like actual videos where he's in the videos. Oh, you seen the thing they were doing with uh, Little Nas X. So a lot of his videos were like this animated kind of little thing. And then like, it does the same thing in the video, like repeats over and over and over. They, they did that, uh, a lot of uh, Pop Smoke's videos like that. They just did like this little animated thing. And some of it actually looks pretty dope. And it just keeps playing over and over. But I feel like you, I feel like they did justice with it. Uh, 50 Cent made sure that the album came on out. And uh, before we get into everything right now, though, Matt and Mike, now I'll say a lot of things going on. So when we get into this type of stuff, man, I want y'all to go and pay attention to what's going on. Um, I had this up prior, but we actually have a playlist. 
So if y'all do anything with us, you drop in the music with us, features. Um, if you pay, you know, to get on the on the playlist, you buy a beat from me, NBC. Anyway, you know, you're doing anything with us, we have a Pain Bros publishing playlist that you get to get on. As of right now, it's an hour and three minutes. Of course, we got a lot more to go with that. Um, a lot of these people that are on here, we've actually worked with, like, personally. Or it has been a ongoing relationship that we have had with them. So if you go on Spotify, I love Spotify personally. If you go on Spotify, you type in Pain Bros Publishing. That is the pay playlist for any artist that gets promotion through Pain, Blow, Pain Bros Publishing. Depending on what way that is, you can definitely go on that playlist. Play that playlist. Y'all stream that, man. A lot of good artists Yo, on there and a lot of good songs on there. Something I seen a few days ago. Um, Drake's album. Um, it never was the same. Is it a new album? I, I heard the, one of the uh, songs. It, 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 it's an older album. The album cover, it, it has like the blue sky in the background. Okay. With his head sideways. I don't think I've seen it. It's an it's 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 an older album. It came out in 2012, I believe. Jesus. I read, I read somewhere it's been on. It has been on the Billboard top. I mean, hot, the Billboard top 200 since then, and it's still there. In 2012. Yeah. That's wild. 2012. Yeah, I, I, I think also. Kendrick's album "Good Kid, Mad City" is also still on the uh, Hot 200 hey. as well. Give it up for him, man! Like that's that was crazy. When years. I when I when on, I read years. that, I was like, I was like, that's a hell of an achievement right there. Yeah, you talking about years and years and years of oh yeah, all kind of music dropping, and you still at the top of the playlist or on the like playlist. People are still. People are still playing it, buying it. It's still popular. You're not old rappers, though. You know what I mean? So them being on there and then a lot of new people finding out about them, getting on platforms and stuff like that, I don't see that as too big of a thing. I mean, that's that's, that's a big accomplishment to be on a top 200, 300, you know, top 200 billboard for that long. Eight years straight. Right up in here. I know y'all want some light on the camera. Oh, I can turn this off. Years straight. It's finding me. Now you you just see a silhouette. Yeah, that's 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 what seven. That's eight years. Eight years. That's crazy. Yes, sir. All right, so Pop Smoke. We redid the uh, Mini Man uh, Fifty Cent. If y'all ain't heard it right now, go listen to it. Let mm-hmm. us know what y'all think about it. I am. I'm, I mean, normally we would go through, rate stuff, and play stuff. In this particular case, I think it's the first time we did anything like this besides, you know what I'm saying, doing just a 60 seconds of silence for Kobe, um, which Kobe is a basket, was, was a, a legendary basketball player, so it's different in this realm as far as music. I think it's the first time we'll actually be doing someone that is not live while we're reviewing their music. So I want to be yeah. fair in that in that case. I don't want to do song for song per se, you know. And we'll be going back and referencing because it, it stuff is is nice. But I want to you know say as a whole. I seen a video where he was greeting one of his fans, and it looks like he knows this guy. Somebody that, you know what I'm saying, he don't know from the can of paint. You know what I'm saying? He just greets him, and it looks like that's his homie. He daps him up. He's talking to him. When you get to meet somebody, and then they, they have that reaction to you, and they're talking to you, speaking to you, they understand the importance of you, liking their music and stuff like that, I feel like that's the most valuable thing. And uh, that's why I don't want to really rate him as this song, that song, that song. I'm going to give him a 20. You know what I'm saying? Because of what he was doing and the route and the way he was going already, he got attention of his favorite rapper. His favorite rapper was rocking with him. 
And even when his favorite rapper was rocking with him, he had more levels to him, the next level. That right. his idol had to understand what he was doing and how much he really rocked with him. And uh, I just, I like people like that, like dudes like that. I don't got nothing to say bad about whatever else happened. I don't care about that. We going, what he did, what we know. And he was solid. He was finna go, go crazy. Oh yeah, most definitely. So I'm, I'm gonna give him 20. Like, on the, on the, artists from on the, up north really on the, needed, artists from up north really needed somebody like him. You know, he had so much potential oh, yeah. to like bring light back, back to that, to that region. Yeah, East Coast, up top. Yeah. The 20 on the slap of cap. Won't he have a 20 on the Mike and Ike meter? But he getting a 20, man. Oh, yeah. A tub. Yo. Now. It's election year. What else, you been listening to? what else you been listening to? It's election year. So you know you're going to get a lot of music. Nah, man. You get a lot of music during election year, though. For real, though. Now, oh, just like just like they drop, drop like every. I'm gonna just say it like this, so we can get off of it. Like something crazy happens every election year, right? Yeah. I don't know. Just just me. You let me know. If you feel what I'm saying? Every election year, also, the music switches. I just that's that's just my 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 synopsis. That's my my you know my view of it. That's what I've been saying. The music changes. If you notice, you've been getting a little bit more um, club records. Um, you've been getting a little bit more. Of course, it's summertime, so you're going to get party-type records. Watch what happens. And we right here saying this right now. Watch what happens, which we're going to be ready for it when 2021 hit. You know what I'm saying? The end of this year, watch the music switch. It's already happening, but. I agree with that in a way, yeah. It's like, it's like it takes like because I, I I feel like there's more, there's been more emphasis on lyrics recently this year. Yeah, it's it's shifting that way. It's shifting towards like, that. There's so many lyrical artists out there that that's dropping. It's crazy. Because I I just recently, out of the blue, I listened to the whole uh, Mac Miller album. Mac Miller. Yeah, because I was watching a YouTube video. And he was doing one of those tiny desk uh, joints where where, the, where they play the instruments live. Yeah. And you got the rapper uh, rapping or whatever. And it was crazy. He was like, because in a song, because it's from an actual song and he was talking about like death and all that. And then in hindsight, you're listening, it, listening to it and watching it. And you're like, damn. He kind of, it, you might think that he kind of foreseen his own death or whatever, right? Yeah. Then I went and listened to the album, and I, mm, I kind of like it. I haven't listened to it. So I'm yeah, because I'm not, to, you know, I wasn't a Mac Miller fan, so me the kind of music that he makes, the vibe that it is, it's, that's kind of new to me. Right. So, so going in it that way, Something different. I still, I, I still kind of liked it though. I might have to check him out. That is one thing that one person I had not really like. I guess gave a chance, like really sat down and like let me, you know what I'm saying, be an unbiased opinion, and just like going and listen to him for him. I definitely have not done that. Yeah, we got to do it. We got to do it. Definitely gonna get on that. Uh, you mentioned recent. I've been listening to so much stuff. Just today, though, in which we're going to get on him in full. And uh, what I mean by that is we're going to go in detail and look and pick apart some of the stuff. He's doing a lot of stuff right now. And he's done way more stuff than I even could imagine. I did not know. But today I started listening to No Limit, The Lost Tapes, uh, the mixtape. Let me, matter of fact, let me pull it up, get the, uh, the right name for it, you know, do it justice. It's uh, No Limit Chronicles, The Lost Tape. So today, as of today, that was uh, that's what I've been listening to. So August 19th, 2020. Uh, it's, so far, I've listened to a little bit. Like I said, we're going to get into a lot of that later. But I, I've listened to a little bit of it so far. And 
Oh. It's new music. That's that's what's crazy about it. To us, yes. So some of it you may have heard maybe mm-hmm. one or two songs. So some of it is you know like that. And but to be honest though, like it's probably a lot of older stuff that he just had sitting around. Like it's probably just been finished and he's just like, yo, like I just, that lets you know how how much he was working on. And yeah. some people told him like you need to get you just keep back to back to back. You need to get out of there. But like, we're gonna get on P um who else he used to drop so much music. Oh yeah, man. That's the you know they was grinding a lot but to be able to do that. Um so much. Mulatto. I heard heard of Mulatto recently. Um Ain't, isn't she on the new um freshman freshman list for this year? I haven't seen the freshman list freshman list. You know what? I'm gonna pull that uh, up. It's uh freshman list is uh Polo G, I believe, on there. Um Chica, I believe that's another female artist. Um Jack Harlow. Oh, they're running down, they're running down the way. So NLE Chopper. NLE Chopper. Dope artist. Right. He a dope artist. Um my right. son really likes NLE Chopper. Polo G, like you said, Polo G. Um uh, Cowboy, I haven't I haven't listened to him. I don't really know, you know, what he got. Uh, Lil TJ. I think I've heard I've heard him on songs. I don't think I've actually like listened to him. Fabio Foreign, if I'm not mistaken, Fabio Foreign was on Pop Smoke album. He, I, I was watching another video and they were talking about the freshman list. Fabio was recently shot mm. and almost died, but he did not, and he's alive. Dang, I, I I don't know nothing yeah. about him. He's like I don't think I, unless he's on this um Pop Smoke album. I'm trying to look it up now to get confirmation because I swear I heard somebody say that name or Fabio Foreign. That's a crazy name. Yeah, he's on here. Showing Fabio. off part one, showing off part two. Fabio. Uh, and if it's not the album, the actual album, and he does have songs with him, so that's why I, that's definitely where I heard that name at. Then you got uh Baby King. I haven't heard of him. Jack Harlow was popping. What's popping? Yeah, so he been going crazy. Did you heard the remix? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. The remix was dope. Lil Wayne killed it. <laughs> Lil Wayne. Bro, and everybody hey. keeps saying that everybody keeps saying that um Tory Lanez had the best verse and then nah, with nah, the baby or whatever. Nah, nah, nah. I think no. Wayne had the best the best verse. See Tory Lanez was steady. Like he kept his whole verse was like, when did he take a breath? That's kind of like yeah. so he killed it in that aspect. But Bar I think Wayne Wayne, Wayne shit was Bar. like clever. Yeah. And, like, punch lines and shit. And he brought it back. At the, and he brought it back at the end, and was oh, yeah. he switched it up. But then at the end, he was like, "I'm gonna pay, oh. basically pay homage to him. Like, hey, this is how you do it." So, and he said the same lines in the song. You got a uh, Rod Wave, Rod Wave. Rod I'm Wave. You though, I, don't, I didn't want to say nothing crazy about this dude though, man. But I gotta be honest. I can't do nothing but be honest. I'm the dude's rough. Rod Wave is rough. Yeah, and we're gonna have to go into it. Anybody can say whatever they want to say. I tell everybody, I can't listen to singing all the time. The way he does it, and he sings so much, the way he does it, personally, just me, I cannot listen to that all the time. Uh, I, I feel the same way. He not, not, not so much just because it's singing, but I just feel like it's so sad all the time. It, that has a lot to do with it. And I ain't trying to be, it's not, it's a lot going on out here. I ain't trying to be sad. That's how he feels, though. He yeah. just, I ain't taking nothing away from him. He's a dope artist. He got dope beats. He found his thing and his way to do it. I'm just talking about like that's not that's not something. He's not someone I want to listen to. You know, a lot of the time. Yeah. You got a, a chica. I've never heard of her. She's from Alabama. <coughs> I haven't heard of her, but I heard she's one of the dope, one of the dope female MCs coming up. Montgomery, Alabama. 
And uh, you got Mulatto, which we spoke about earlier, and Lil' Key are from Atlanta. And then you got a San Fran, a San Francisco rapper. Hold on, bro. 24K Golden. And I've never I've never heard of him or her. I don't even know if it's him or her. But uh, male or female, excuse me. But I, I don't know. I've never heard of them. So uh, I don't know. Do you got Justin May? Uh, I think we should do we should do a rundown and do a. Um, we can do the like freshman. A, uh, we can do the freshman. Freshman, twenty twenty freshman slapper cap. Hey, review. that's that's dope. Yeah, we'll make that happen. You got yeah. Justin. You got Justin May. I think we should go to, through two. I think this this fair. Which we pretty much do this type of thing already, but uh, as far as this is the first time I'm seeing this, um, there's been a lot of freshman lists, but Jetson Bay is the first ever music curator crafting most of the beats used in the video content, including the much anticipated ciphers uh, for everything. So that's that's the I me personally like for a producer not. You know, like DJ Drama or anybody else being there or them name, their name being on the beat. Jesse May is actually stated on this XXL um, little cover or template, whatever this is right here, saying, you know, that he did most of the stuff. You got some more people on here, too. Um, and, and saying that, too, as far as updates and stuff. As far as the updates and stuff, and you got a uh, this year. I'm not sure whether it was finalized this year or not, but TikTok. You now can distribute your music, and your music will go on TikTok. If you ain't know, we we on TikTok right now. Yeah, y'all yeah. go check it out. Um, yeah, Hitman Pain NBC. Go check that out on TikTok. Yeah, just just Google Hitman Pain. Just Google MPC, NBC. Y'all find whatever y'all need to know. It's that simple. We do music. We love music. Everything about music, man. Um, I'm happy to be getting, you know, I know we're doing this right now. People watching this stuff, they got to understand. I can't give it to you all right now. You know what I'm saying? We're just getting back into it. And, uh, yeah. I'm excited to get back into it because there's been a lot going on here and there. And I just got a different motivation about me, man. I'm in a different mode and grind. And I know more needs to be done now than ever. And it's like, you're going to stand up and lay down. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard. But ain't shit going to happen if you just let shit happen. We got to make something happen. So we right here right now. I'm excited. I'm gonna stay excited for this type of this type of stuff. Music is anything deal with music is usually just excited for me. I was hell. I was honestly. I was like, right before this shit, I was writing some shit. <laughs> I was like, that shit was crazy. I, I ain't wrote nothing in a while. I ain't wrote nothing in a while. I've been I mean, wanting to, but I've been inspired in that way though, bro. Like I was sitting here with all this stuff. I'm just like, how am I just have all this stuff be waiting to do this and, and waiting to do that? All right, Bubba. Waiting to do this and waiting to do that before, you know, artists to come here, artists to come here, or I'm waiting for this or that to actually go ahead and do my thing. I can't I can't wait for that and to do a lot of things. So we'll have updates on all that stuff later too, man. We're going to jump in. So boom, we're right back at it between the videos of us doing the artists that we like and the artists that we listen to. We jumping straight into the 2020 freshman list. The XL, you know, they made the XXL cover. We got a producer that's going to be featured on here, Justin May. We're going to see where he's from, what he do, his inspirations, how he got started, and uh, what them beats sound like. See if I like the beat. You know what I'm saying? And then with these freshmen, we're going to see if it's slap a cap. I mean, I don't know. They made the freshman list. What'd you say? Yeah, but they, the, the freshman lists always aren't aren't always a good gauge, you know. 
I agree. You know, there's, there's some hot people that don't get on the fresh. It's movie. more about that popularity movie. than actual skill, but you know, people like what 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 they like. So we'll see what uh, it is. Majority majority wins. That's 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 how it is a lot of times. Majority wins. Yep. All right, man. We're gonna sign out for the first one. We back at y'all. Always, you know, we going It's hot outside, so. We gotta come with some heat. Matt and Mike on the mic. Ain't that the same? Yeah. You the one to blame. Yeah. Try to keep it real with you, but you the one that changed. How you won't change? Acting different when it came. Murder was the case, and I ain't blew out the brain. Blew out the brain. See me now, yeah. switching through different lines, yeah. smoking on different strains. Yeah. I got money on my brain. We are not.